Hey y'all, let's prep some bad drills. So normally I sand the center of these and fill them with grand finale, but now that coverall is available, I no longer need to sand my projects and I can use coverall instead. So what I do is I clip my alligator swivels to these boards and I just fit as many as I can. So anything that you have that is sturdy enough and will keep your bad drills flat while your product is drying will work. And then you'll just need a dry Taclon brush um, to spread out the product. Now, when you do your first like three or four of them, um, you're going to end up needing at least a couple drops because the product soaks into your brush bristles like pretty quickly. Um, but once your brush is nice and wet with the product, then one drop should be more than enough for you to, um, you know, cover the, the center of these bad drills. It's okay if you get a little bit messy with it and get outside of that middle part. Um, it dries clear and glossy, um, so it really doesn't matter. Plus, most of your acrylics are going to cover the entire surface anyway, so it's not going to be something that's very visible. Um, so it's okay if you get a little messy with it. Um, you will let this dry for two hours and then you'll go in with a second coat. In this video though, I'm not doing any belt clips, but for my belt clips, I just set them down flat on their back, wherever it is that I'm going to let uh, my product self level and allow them to dry. I just have them on something that is sturdy enough that doesn't get um, bumped into very easily to where it would like accidentally knock them over. But if you have something thin enough that would be strong and sturdy enough for you to clip them on while they're self leveling and drying, then I would definitely do that. Okay, so after you have applied your two coats of coverall and they have both dried for two hours each, you can then go in and fill the middle with um, Grand Finale. So all I do is I squeeze a generous amount on each one and then um, I'll spread the product around and um, make sure that the center is, is you know spread out and filled up with the Grand Finale but I do go and do this twice. So I do a generous amount. Um, I let it dry overnight and then I go in a second time and fill it up again to where it's um, a flat enough surface uh, for me to apply my dual lock. You do want to try to do this like several days before you know you're going to need these so I usually try to prep them as soon as I get them in and that way they'll be ready to go and the product will be very dry by the time that I need to sand it and apply my dual lock. So I just do a quick scuff sand um, before applying my dual lock that way it really grips onto it very well and it does. It's like pretty hard to remove. Um, like if I need to take off the dual lock for some reason. Um, so this is a very good way to get a nice flat surface for your dual lock and um, have your acrylics attached, you know, like really well with it. Also, if you start to see any bubbles surface right away, don't worry, just you can just pop them with your finger because remember this product is non-toxic, so it's totally safe for you to touch and then you just go wash it off. All right guys, thanks for watching.